What's up everyone? Hope you are doing well. All right, I hope that I do not get demonetized for that. <laughs> So, welcome back to the channel, and uh, I would like to start with a big shout out to everybody who watched my other videos and who liked the content, and they left really heartwarming content, heartwarming uh, kind of message. So, thank you so much for that, and uh, it's a pleasure. So, today's content is a bit, let's, um, I hate to, to say that, but it's a bit complicated because we will be trying to understand a relation between various template into our themes all right so to actually uh change uh, the displaying of this slider to a full width we have first to understand how these templates are built and the relation between many than couple of templates okay so this is the very first topic which is understanding the layout system in PrestaShop. so here i have let me close the other one actually that you don't really get confused um, I have a three opened TPL files. The first one is index.tpl, page TPL, and layout both column.tpl. Okay, so the very first thing, the very first thing that you have to understand that everything is coming from this index.tpl. Okay, our website actually is rendered through this template. So if I put this into a command, then you may guess that we won't have anything displayed normally on the page okay so at least the central part of the page because we have a header and footer somewhere else displayed but the content the central the main content of our page is rendered through this file and if you look at this line 25 we do have an extend so extend mean extend mean that we are uh, let's say um, extending elements from a parent template that we are overriding specific parts of this template and this is actually what we are doing here so if you uh, watched my courses on udemy i explained this with details but this is like the brief intro of extending mean that we have blocks defined inside this page.tpl and here we are overriding these blocks and we are inserting certain content in these blocks <clears throat> So let's pick the example of uh, page name or page content here, sorry. So if we go to uh, the extended template, which is page.cpl right here, and I hit Ctrl F as I did here, I have my, not this one, but this one. So this is uh, like the boilerplate. It's like an abstraction, if you can say an abstract element here. And here we are implementing that element, right? So uh, let me do a quick uh, stupid test of always so let's do a lorem here so what we are expecting here is to have a lorem in addition to that we'll be having the content of the central page there we go so we have the lorem um oh wait a second not this lorem what i said so here oh sorry so when i do anything here it will be actually overridden by the content of this page that is extending the parent page so i know it's kind of confusing but don't worry it's not that complicated so now if i do refresh normally i won't see that junky stuff that i typed but instead i'm seeing the elements that came from this index.tpl so that in brief and hopefully i did not get you lost there uh, about the template extending so as i said this is the entry file of that central content of our template that is extending page.tpl that is by itself extending from uh, a file called dollar layout here that it is basically the layout both column and you may be wondering um, how to map this dollar to this both column then the answer is inside the theme dot tpl that is um, a new introduction a new feature on this PrestaShop 1.7 theming system. If you go to config theme and you go to uh, template or layout, sorry, there we go. So we have the available layout and we have the default layout in this line 125, saying that the default layout of this website will be layout full width. And um, if you go to layout full width, then uh, okay, let's go to layout full width. Come on, come on. There we go. This is it. That is basically extending the layout booth column which is this one so it's a bit confusing but as i said it's easy just have to look to the code and you'll be good to go Ooh, 
Okay. No, let's go back to our topic after this uh, Ardu Borri interaction. I hopefully um, you won't hate me after that couple of minutes. All right. So know how to apply this into our slider. How we can transform this slider into a full width inside uh, instead of um, what is the word single width or something like that? Full width. Wow. I'm tired. Um, okay. So. Let's close the layout full width here for now. We don't need it. And layout both column. Uh, is that layout both column? Layout full width. Okay. So this is what you're looking for. And here um, we have hook home. So here normally we have our element hook it. So let me put that in commands and refresh because here if you go to position i search image slider it does show me display home this is the only hook that the image slider is displayed on so commenting that then everything is gone so go back to my ide and revert this back here and where is the container class because if i go back and refresh this page and i do inspect I do see that we have a container class that is centering everything into my page inside my page. Okay, how to come around this and fix our problem? So the question here is where that bloody container is defined. The answer for now is I don't know. I have to search for that. So I will pick this idea wrapper and I go back to my template here to my theme and simply control v and search so here we have the checkout to ignore and we have the both layout column so this is our key files right so we have the container which is this one we have a hook that we don't really care about it because uh, as we said our element is hooked inside the hook home or home hook whatever it's called so um how can i take my content outside that container well to be honest i still don't know but i have to figure it out so our element if we go back to this so index is actually extending the page and the page is extending this so i can say that um we have some block i'm looking for block that i may override that i could get my content display so here hook home block hook home all right well it's a bit confusing actually to be honest so i need uh, like a second to understand this okay so here we have a, a little bit little problem actually i think it's a big one actually to be honest because here we have let's say the implementation of the hook so Whatever elements are hooked into that hook, the hook home in this case, then it will be displayed. And I just want to search in Google, is it is that a way that we exclude an element from a hook implementation into certain place? So here I will do PrestaShop um, filter module or hook module name i think there is a way to do this uh if i'm not sure if i'm not wrong so going to this and so i'm looking for the implementation inside the tpl so let's go with this okay 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 so hook home display home let's change this to the old way so display home let's see oh we have a no filter okay so first we have to test if that do the same things as the code that was written before so refreshing the page and it's exactly the same all right now um because here if i do name and i do ps image i think it's that that way it's called image slider um we can pick the name directly here so inspect and go to ps image slider so let me copy this to avoid any mistakes so now if we do refresh look what will happen normally i should see only the slider and it's not working i don't know why 
and it's kind of rendering everything creating your own hook call a hook for a specific module ah it's a mod sorry this must be mod like module and single quote oh yeah because um i faced some problem with this single and double quotes on calling hooks so just make sure that always use a single quote and there you go so it's working here but this will lead me into uh, a duplication because I have to write uh, this hook multiple times, which is not good. So I'm looking for a way to exclude, actually, not include. So let's search for exclude. Can I do that? No. It is possible. Exclude. So I think I'll be using the widget API here to solve the problem once and forever because it's not really a good idea to create like three or four of these lines and simply each time do PS, I don't know, uh, categories or whatever. So we will leave this by default to its original state here and I'll go back to my admin panel and I will unhook this image slider and I will do the following so I'll be moving back to and not here but actually to lay out both columns and where we do have the container here I will create a container fluid like this oops that didn't work all right come on this is not doing its mission div class equals to fluid there we go come on close the div and here we have to call the widget so it must be a widget widget and um, what name is that the way come on i need to find how to write widget it's okay i have no shame to say that i forget you know um yeah things happen so here i will file to include dot tpl so here dot start dot tpl Uh, chill buddy not the hook but I'm looking for this yes this is it okay go back to IDE and here we have to paste the name which is PS image slider I think and uh, not this one but this one yeah PS image slider okay no let's refresh and see what will happen right there all right taking your time okay okay so we already start to see things better now we have the rest of the elements centered as default and now we have our slider full width so let me just check how long this video is recording because i don't want to end up with a 14 minutes video because it's boring to watch a long video all right so uh, i think i will stop this seventh episode at this point again the code is on github go ahead and pick it and let's do create a beautiful template so the next episode will be about manipulating the css and adapting it to to become something like this thank you for watching and as always if you like this content please don't don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel and like the content and leave a good comment because uh it's really really heartwarming to say good commands and uh peace